Hello, brothers and sisters of light and dark. Welcome, welcome, welcome to my page. My page is about common sense. I try to keep it down, nitty gritty, under 10 minutes. And if it goes over 10 minutes, it's something very, very, very important and not important to liberals, libertars, people who believe in God, people like to smoke, people like to drink, people like ayahuasca, people like DMT. Listener's discretion is advised. 80% of you people should not be watching my videos. Do you understand? That I'm not Joe Average, man. I'm not. <laughs> Call me any name in the book. But sticks and stones may break my bones, but names will never hurt me. Do you understand how that works? So, if you have any comments, questions, insults, or roast fish, you put it down below. I'm your friendly neighborhood schizologist. A word I actually made up, so if you see it on the internet... You know, the white guy probably picked it up and said, I'm going to twist it in my own fashion. I make up my own terminologies, my own words, and then people catch on. But a lot of people don't know some words. Some words change over time. But let's talk about our topic for today. Today's topic will be how to be an excellent, awesome actor. To be an actor takes time and dedication. The expressions, the animations, the quirks, the movements. Understand this very well. When you're acting around people, you tend to know their true agenda about you. And people who know psychology, like myself, is very astute to pick it up. It is the wisest to be innocent and aloof. When you think... People don't know things about you. It's best to act innocent and aloof. Like you're, I don't know anything. I don't know nothing. Okay. When you say that, people be like, okay, they can take advantage of you. And that's what you're supposed to be doing. Taking advantage of people who take advantage of you. You can make money off of this. You can make money off of people who try to lie to you. Take advantage of you. If you just sit there and think like Tony Stark from Iron Man or a Batman, okay, or Lex Luthor or Doctor Doom or Doctor Strange. If you just think about things like, you know, if you're not an overthinker, you shouldn't be my friend. Okay, you shouldn't be my friend if you're a bad person. You really have negative intentions and your your whole goal was to... To pull me down, okay? Because I do voodoo. I do magic. That's the thing that y'all can't understand me. I'm on a whole new fucking realm and shit. But, that's another story. Understand this very clear. There are people in this world who are not human. I repeat that again. There are people like the Avatar, which basically, if you kill his body, he keeps coming back ten times stronger. You cannot do things to holy people and assume that in the next life, all hell will break loose on those lower-minded fools and buffoons. But when you wear a mask, you can see other people's masks. Like the masquerade back in the 1800s when they used to do those ball dances and shit. I think that's what it was. I don't know the dates. And when you have a mask on, people basically judge you because of your mask. But the best type of mask is just to have a multi-talented mask. See all of the different types of disguises there is, there is to learn. Evil people are very low-minded people who think of only world domination and power. And they think of materialistic things. When people think of materialistic things, those are the easiest targets. People who think of power People think of greed or the seven daily sins. But of course, there are nine, of course. Just like in Dante's Inferno, okay? But understand this. You got to watch a lot of actors on TV in order to have that animation to where you can talk, look, sound, act, and even compose yourself in a way to where when people say good things about you, that's this one of your mask. It is good to be multi-talented. 
I am a renaissance man. I do not do what everybody else does. I just can't do that, okay? I am 47 this year. But when I teach my lessons, they are not all free. But you may pick up on one of my videos. Some of my videos, I act goofy on purpose. And I want people to say negative things. That's, I feed off a of negative energy. I'm a sadist. I'm also a Satanist too, you know, but I don't worship Lucifer. People who don't understand what a Satanist is, please ask questions. People who don't understand what a Satanist is, please ask questions. You ask questions, you learn, correct? All right. So, the more what I'm saying here is that it's not always good to be yourself around people. It's not good, not good, man. Because people start to figure you out. The best way to be is to act like you're innocent and stupid okay? or aloof. You don't know what you're talking about. When you do this, people start to talk. And gossipers are easy to destroy. Because then they get put on the spotlight. Because they have to prove their validation. Because that's what they seek. Validation. They need attention. So they have to gossip. Right? And of course, as I said before, you get a lot of information just by putting on a mask. When people call me on my phone, and I don't know who that number is, I always alter my voice. Hello? I am at, hello? Hello? And then they hang up. I said, why did they hang up on me? Did they know me? I don't know why they hang up on me. I said, hello? So probably I made them smile. Because I sound the like old woman, right? I had made a couple people smile. And I'm like, I didn't know who the number was, goddammit, you bitch. I don't have a middleman working for me. I get people pay me directly for my services, peoples. I don't need a whole lot of flash and dash and prettiness. My daughters can do that for me. I do a services. I do art services, architectural services, psychological. I do two. Read my fucking description. Okay. I'm all over the fucking place. But you want to call me crazy. Look how bony I am. But then I can fuck you up with this. This python. I worked in warehouse works, lift weights, been a fitness trainer, right? Okay, I don't I don't understand how people make comments and stuff and they looking at my old bald head when I when I'm a porn star. Women don't care about looks, they care about money and dick. And if they ain't caring about dick, you know what that means, right? Don't care about that money, right? But if you're trying to find love, guys, this is off the topic now here. You're going to have to step up your game with some mask and some form of dark psychology to understand what true pe true intentions a person has for you. Because if you don't do that and you haven't been trained, you are a fool the first time. Especially if you heard a brother like me talking. Shit, man, I don't get fooled by nobody. I'll go to a country blindfold in this day. I still know what I'm, I'm like Mr. Raymond Rennington on the motherfucking blacklist. Y'all know who Blake, Raymond Rennington is? That's Spader. I think it was James Spader. Okay, James Spader plays as a... He, he also played in uh, Voltron. Ultron in uh, the Marvel uh, comic book universe, okay? In that voice. He played the voice. Excellent actor. Y'all should watch The Blacklist. And also, you should watch Redemption, too, because that shit is really nice, too. But other than that, that's all I really got to say, guys. I hope you learned something in this video. Stop being yourself. It's like, if you want to figure someone out, the best way is to be innocent and aloof. Talk about something you know you're talking about and then let them talk. Like when I talk to people who are religious and shit and I tell them something, one fact, okay, it's a fact, okay? And then they'll be like, oh, this motherfucker is a hypocrite. Then, you know, you got to know who that person is. Do they respect what you're saying? Because you shouldn't hang around people who don't respect what you have. Or they, they, bro or they broke. Yeah, they broke. Stay away from broke people. Unless their wisdom supersedes everything they are. Alright? But I'm out of here, guys. Because I love animals more than humans, but I don't fuck the animals. And what do you think I'm going to say? I got to brush my teeth. I'm not Joe Harris, man. I'm not Joe Peter, man. I'm out of here.